The Arizona Cardinals lost to the Seattle Seahawks last Thursday night. Now are preparing to play the struggling Atlanta Falcons at University of Phoenix Stadium on Sunday. As we do each week here on the Big Red Wolf Report, we'll look ahead to the upcoming game by looking through the prism of last week's game. Point number one, against Seattle last week, the Big Red line was pushed behind Carson Palmer's drop point. And the Seattle Seahawks sacked Palmer seven times while harassing him on a regular basis. Three of the five offensive linemen for the Cardinals played their worst game of the year, according to general manager Steve Keim, and the offense sputtered. The Atlanta Falcons are sputtering badly and have not been able to generate a pass rush all season long. The Falcons only have 14 sacks on the year and only six teams have fewer sacks than Atlanta. O.C. Uminura was brought in to replace John Abraham, now a Cardinal, and the results have not been stellar. The lack of a pass rush has hindered Atlanta's defense. They have not been a good pass defense, have been horrible on getting off the field on third down, and they have given up many big plays. Hopefully that trend will continue against the Cardinals. Point number two. Carson Palmer has thrown 13 interceptions in 2013, second most in the league. Much of Palmer's problems stem from the lack of protection he has received while making poor reads and decisions. It truly takes a team to protect a quarterback, but Palmer carries much of the responsibility himself. Picks have a tendency to change games, and not all interceptions are created equal. There are some that are far worse than others. Fortunately, there are only two teams in the league that have fewer interceptions than the Atlanta Falcons. They have only three picks on the year, and what's even more startling for head coach Mike Smith is they only have five takeaways on the season. Five! There are only three teams in the league that have fewer takeaways than the Falcons. Well, you combine point number one and point number two, and you have a golden opportunity to protect Palmer, eliminate picks, and move the ball one would think. Point number three. Although the onus is on Palmer in the offense to possess the ball, move the chains, give the defense a blow, and score points against a defense that has struggled, Todd Bowles' defense must play the way they have all season long. The Falcons have a high-powered offense, even without wide receiver Julio Jones, and are getting healthy again. Running back Steven Jackson is expected to play on Sunday, and Roddy White most likely will play and be effective. Matt Ryan is having what I believe is his best season, guiding a beat-up and depleted offense to top 10 status in almost every meaningful metric. But they haven't played well in the red zone. The Falcons are number nine in yards per game, but are tied for number 17 in red zone conversions. The Falcons, even with stud tight end Tony Gonzalez, are converting red zone possessions into touchdowns only 50% of the time. Todd Bowles' defense is in the top third of the league in the red zone. But against Seattle last week, they allowed Seattle to score on three of their four trips inside their 20. Big Red's D cannot allow this to happen this week. Until next week, I'm Ron Wolfley with Arizona Sports 620 and ArizonaSports.com. Hoping you never take a French uppercut to the cradle.